So because you like the first clothing hacks episode so much, we decided to do a number two. So say you're at a restaurant and you accidentally spill some coffee on your top. Well, here's a simple solution. All you need is soda water. So I'm gonna show you two versions, one with soda water and one with regular water. First things first, I need to stain my t-shirt. So there you go, I've got my little nipples there. So first thing you wanna do is you actually wanna take off as much coffee as you can, first of all. Okay. So the next step, I'm just gonna put some napkins there. Okay, I'm gonna do first of all the test with the normal water. It's just spreading more, look at that. Now for the soda water, okay? Just go ahead and dab as much as you can. <laughs> I mean, you can see that was too freaking close to me. I knew that was gonna happen, god damn it. Well, the stain is definitely gonna go away now, isn't it? Whoops. <laughs> As I was saying, as you can see, this stain <laughs> is mostly gone and the, this one is not. Oh my God, how clumsy are you gonna be? Okay, as you can see, this is the plain water side and the soda water side work better. It actually lightens the stain tremendously. But if you leave the stain too long, that's another story though. So it's best if you stain your top, do it immediately. Did you know you can use a window cleaner to remove stains as well? I've created my little splash of soya sauce on my top. Now I'm gonna get my window cleaner, put a paper towel underneath the stain, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray the stain with the window cleaner. Okay. I'm gonna let that soak in for uh, around about a minute, and then I'm gonna dab it with a paper towel. Look at that! It is completely gone. I think that's pretty quite amazing. Pretty quite amazing there. Pretty quite amazing. Add that to the Rebecca Dictionary. But anywho, this does not happen for all stains, okay? So I haven't tried it on like pen marks and stuff like that, so maybe you guys can give it a shot and let me know. So this one is for the girls out there that don't have anyone to help them zip their dresses up. As you can see, I have a dress here and it has a back zip here. A really easy solution is you just need to get some string and a paper clip. Open it up just like this. Put your paper clip through the hole of the zip. Thread your string through the paper clip. So all I have to do now is zip it up. Voila! So this one is for some of you that may have a broken zipper and it's just not zipping it up or cupping it. Now all you need is a pair of pliers or scissors. Now not everyone has pliers I know, so I'm gonna try it with scissors. Cap the bottom of the zip on a, like a 45 degree angle. Give it a good clench. You have to do it quite hard so that it will work. Yeah. Ta-da, it works. And as you can see, it's all joined together. So this is open. And voila! It works. Some of you may have this problem where you have a top and it's got lots of little ballies on there. Here's a really cool way to get rid of those balls. All you need is a disposable razor. Pull the t-shirt a little bit taut like this and you just go ahead and very gently shave the little balls off. <laughs> you don't want to put holes in your fabric, obviously, so just be careful, okay? This is actually quite therapeutic. It's putting me in a zone doing this. It's really satisfying to do. It's satisfying because you can see it working and it's just so easy and effortless to do. What do you like to do? In my free time to relax, I like to shave lint balls off my t-shirt. So you can see it works. All the little lint balls are all here now. So there you go, you guys can try it too and I'm just gonna get straight back to it. Some of you may have a snag top out there and you're wondering, how do I fix it? Well, there's a simple way to fix it. And all you need is a bobby pin. Open up your bobby pin, carefully thread the snag into the bobby pin just like this. Come in from the other side and just thread it through the hole that it's snagged on. And now the snag thingy, the loose string is on the other side. Now, if it's really, really long, you can tie a knot. On the flip side, Looks like normal again. Easy. Chananana and voila. And boom. Now, this one is for those who have some dirty suede. Now, here's a really cool trick to clean that dirty suede. And all you need is a nail filer. And you just go ahead and file away. And ta-da! 
pretty cool, right? Pretty easy. So here's a really cool nifty trick to clean your rubber soles. Now I've done this in a previous episode, but I use nail polish remover. Here's another product that you can use. Toothpaste. Put it on the shoe like that. Use a toothbrush and I'm just gonna rub away with it. So I've cleaned away just a portion of it. Grab a paper towel and clean away the excess toothpaste. And there you go. Clean rubber bits on your shoes. So here's a really nifty trick. If you're out shopping for pants and you can't try them on or you're simply just too lazy. All right, so here's a good way to see if they will fit. All you have to do is grab your pants and wrap the waist around your neck. This one is slightly loose, which they are. These are my shorts and I like them a little bit loose. And I've got these ones, which are really, really tight. And when I do wear these, it's like they're painted on. And as you can see, it's not much slack. And then I've got somebody else's pants. I think they're size 30 something, so they're way too big for me. So next time, give it a shot. We have come to the end of yet another episode. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on Instagram at RJT99. And if you haven't done so already, please download the free Click Network app to watch all of our videos one month before they come out on YouTube. Bye, guys. Mwah. Baby, don't.